Hello friends, welcome back to my channel uh, FMT Sima Sute. Uh, today we will be starting with the new playlist on COVID uh, management. So here uh, today because I am from forensic medicine, I will be talking about medical legal management of COVID deaths. Uh, it is based on our experience of wave 1 and 2 of COVID and here I am Dr. Seema Sute, Professor and HOD, Forensic Medicine and Toxicology from Government Medical College, Khandwa. Uh, pandemics clearly expose the strength and weaknesses of healthcare systems in different countries as well as the obstacles and inequities of access to healthcare. Handling a dead body with a COVID tag would run chills down the spine of anyone who would be in front line to handle such cases. Every forensic medicine expert have been facing issues related to conducting post-mortem examination uh, on broad dead cases and has also been exposed to the virus in doing the same. Changing treatment protocols and handling medical and administrative issues, ensuring all relevant ethical norms and that to keep in mind various laws along with ensuring control of spread of diseases has been change challenging to all of us. It's a tedious work to keep ourselves updated with all the guidelines issued by the government. Uh, psychosocial supports should be adopted to needs, culture and context and should consider local coping mechanisms. The laws which government invoked during pandemic was, uh, I mean most of the people don't know what were the acts, but they were knowing what they are following. So various acts to strategically face the pandemic dilemmas were uh, national disaster management, it was, uh, we came to know because uh, we were restricted for our movement from one place to another place. Lockdown was there. Epidemic Disease Act 1897 that had, uh, I mean, uh, uh, we, we, we saw prevention and containment, containment to our places, home isolation, etc. was according to this act. Article 355 and 29 all, uh, of concurrent list of constitution of India enforced lockdown. Then there was Essential Commodities Act ECA 1955 for the provisions of mask and other commodities. So that was government's duty to provide mask and to make it affordable if uh, uh, not on free. Another act which all of us uh, medicos know is Essential Services Manage Maintenance Act where that is also called as ESMA where um, all were advised not uh, advised all were ordered to work without any excuses. Section 144 provided restriction of assembly of more four or more uh, as usual. 174 and 176 was dealing with death and autopsy related provisions during COVID-19. Dead body management coming to this topic that we were talking about, our department of forensic medicine was given the responsibility to handle the dead body handling and disposal task for all COVID positive and suspected also negative uh, cases in district hospital attached to our college. To ensure health and safety of all, the department developed an SOP for careful handling and proper disposal of bodies. And the basis of which we were, we were regulated was SOP given by uh, Health Services EMR Division and also by MOHW, Government of India. And we were following uh, rules laid down by Madhya Pradesh government. Those cases which were brought dead to hospital was again a uh, uh, problem for us during those time. What was our experience in COVID-1 and 2? We dealt with around 487 cases where they were maximum from Khandwa but uh, the referred cases we were having from Buranpur and Kharkon and other places around Khandwa. 
maximum cases were from a hindu religion i was i am talking here about religion because the funeral processes are different in different uh, religions so we need to take care of those while uh, handling dead bodies 44% belong to age group 50 to 70 years and uh, next group was 35 to 50 and uh, 40 45% were shifted from sari ward where uh, the uh, exact positive uh, finding was not uh, i mean exact positive report was not available they uh, somewhere suspected and somewhere negative also in first wave was only positive were disposed of directly to ghat but then afterwards uh, other uh, suspected and negative also were not allowed to give hand over to relatives this was the protocol um, developed by government medical college in forensic medicine department for civil management and another protocol was for medical medical legal management in civil management we appointed some uh, doctors from our college for coordination for doing a topsy and for uh, uh, information and uh, dissemination and uh, coordinate with the relatives and van driver and ward boys all those things were handled in civil management and in medical legal management we were supposed to do autopsies and medical legal examination of the cases which we were we were not knowing whether they are negative or positive and also the cases which were positive so what was the precaution to be taken while transferring body from isolation area of covid hospital to the mortuary the health worker handling dead body uh, should perform hand hygiene to ensure proper use of pp all tubes drains and catheters on dead body should be removed and disposed in triple layered yellow plastic bags for incineration any puncture holes or wounds resulting from removal of catheter drains tubes or otherwise should be disinfected with 1% hypochlorite and dressed with impermeable material we need to apply caution while handling sharp such as intravenous catheters and other sharp devices they should be disposed into sharp container this is pp kit as you we all know by the time it is 2 years so we all are acquainted with this precautions while transferring to body to mortuary also includes uh, plug oral nasal orifices of the dead body to prevent leakage of body fluids all used or soil linen should be handled with standard precautions put in biohazard bag and the outer surface of the bag is disinfected with hypochlorite solution used equipment should be autoclaved or decontaminated with disinfectant solutions in accordance with established infection prevention control practices place the body in leak proof plastic body bag the exterior of the body bag can be decontaminated with 1% hypochlorite the body bag can be wrapped with a sheet the body will be either handed over to the relatives or taken to mortuary so this was uh, this is uh, we have written because in first wave we were advised uh, we were order only to hand, uh, hand over the positives one but in second wave there was no time in broad dead cases whether to uh, find this is positive or negative so we were doing all the procedures for negative and uh, suspected also if the family of the patient wishes to view the body at the time of removal from isolation room to area or in the mortuary they may be allowed to do so with application of standard precaution we need to provide counseling to the family members and respect their sentiments all medical waste must be handled and disposed of in accordance with biomedical waste management rules the health staff who handled the body will remove personal protective equipment and will perform hand hygiene all surfaces of isolation area like floors bed railings side tables iv stand etc should be wiped with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution allow a contact time of 30 minutes and then it is allowed to air dry while handling dead body in mortuary what we are supposed to do here the main driver of transmission of covid 19 is through droplets there is unlikely to be an increased risk of covid infection from dead body to health workers or family members 
who follow standard precautions while handling body this was said in one reference but because research has not been carried out thoroughly whether to say how many hours or how many minutes the covid 19 virus survive in dead body we don't know so we need to take all the precautions that's why here mark a few boxes for bodies of covid 19 keep viral transfer media for transferring swabs collected from suspected cases mortuary staff should uh, be handling covid dead body and should observe standard precautions dead bodies should be stored in ear marked cold chambers maintained at approximately 4 degrees celsius precautions while handling uh, what we do the mortuary must be clean environmental surfaces instruments and transport trolleys should be properly disinfected with 1% hypochlorite solution after removing the body the chamber door handles and floor should be cleaned with hypo while handling over the body to relatives only next of kin should be allowed and he should be with pp this box you are seeing is uh, we have uh, developed one box like this to handle covid body we have uh, uh, constructed one uh, opening Uh, to do post mortem examination while the body is in the box and uh, that ha that has been uh, manufactured by local furniture maker in khandwa uh, so that is also there in our mortuary the body secured in body bag where exterior is decontaminated poses no additional risk to the staff uh, transporting the body personal handling the body may follow standard precautions the vehicle after the transfer of body to cremation or burial staff will be decontaminated with 1% hypochlorite precautions to be taken at the cremation or burial ground at the crematorium sensitized um public health department people should be sensitized and does not pose additional risk the staff to practice standard precautions of hand hygiene use of mask and gloves is recommended when the body is handed over to the police and relatives after autopsy they must be advised not to open the bags or touch the body and they are also uh, recommended not to gather together to minimize spread of infection religious rituals such as reading from religious scripts sprinkling holy water and any other last rite that does not require touching of the body can be allowed bathing kissing hugging etc is strictly not allowed at the burial ground these are the uh, the photos you are seeing are the actual photos taken at, at, at on site the funeral or burial staff and family members should perform hand hygiene after cremation or burial the ash does not pose any risk and can be collected to perform the last rites large gathering at crematorium should be avoided as a social distancing measure as it is possible that close family contacts may be symptomatic or are uh, and sharing the virus boards displaying above information should be displayed at proper prominent places in the crematorium or burial ground proper provisions of hand washing and sanitizer must be made available for relatives before leaving the crematorium while performing autopsies on dead body of covid 19 patients the death in hospital or under medical care due to covid 19 is not a medical legal case and no forensic autopsy will be conducted but in medical legal cases we need to conduct that uh, the certification of death and issuance of certificate of cause of death that is mccd will be done by the treating doctor of the hospital if autopsy is to be performed for special reasons like suicide homicide accident custodial death or allegations of negligence in treatment the following infection control practices should be adopted the team should be well trained in infection prevention control practices 
the number of forensic experts and support staff in autopsy room should be limited preferably uh, one doctor one is forensic medicine a person or pathologist and one supporting staff to ensure judicious use of human resources the team of doctors who would be involved in autopsies should be trained in collection of nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal swab or swabs from bronchial tree and also blood for culture the chief of mortuary services should make provisions for adequate number of pps instrument sets culture bottles vtm that is viral transfer media with swabs plastic body bags and linen and that should be cleaned with 1% hypo human resources to prepare duty list so that staff is used sparingly and with adequate rest so that they are available whenever required the team should use proper pp uh, including goggles and face shield round ended scissors should be used while doing post mortem examination pm40 or any other heavy duty blade blades with blunt point to be used to reduce prick injuries only one body cavity at a time should be dissected unfixed organs must be held firm on the table and sliced with a sponge care should be taken to protect the hand negative pressure to be maintained in the mortuary an oscillator saw with suction extraction of the bone uh, aerosol into removable chamber should be used for sewing skull otherwise a hand saw with chain mail glove may be used because it uh, i mean if you don't create negative pressure chamber then there is a risk of uh, infection by covid and uh, aerosol generating procedures need to be specially handled carefully this in uh, photograph you can see the while doing post mortem examination we are using gauze pieces to cover the uh, organs to prevent spurring of blood or spillage of blood outside or any tissues outside so that uh, minima uh, we can minimize the risk of infection oscillating saw is also covered with uh, plastic and uh, whenever we were using saw the suction uh, apparatus should be used needles should not be resheet after fluid sampling needles and syringes should be placed in sharp buckets to reduce aerosol generation during autopsy using appropriate techniques especially while handling lung tissues avoid spillage of body fluid during autopsy instrument should be kept in 1% hypo after the procedure body should be disinfected with hypochlorite solution and placed in body bag exterior of which will be decontaminated again with the hypo solution the body thereafter can be handed over to relatives and autopsy table as usual need to be disinfected as per standard protocol the specimens right now we are not dealing more, uh, many of the specimens should be avoided but whenever uh, required and urgent and if the covid protocol facility is available at that point of time then we can preserve the specimen as and when required nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal swab to detect the uh, positivity is required otherwise lungs if required need to be fixed in uh, formalin and other organs depending on signs and history of the deceased this is the finding uh, in some references mentioned about cardiac and pulmonary that uh, microangiopathy in small vessels and capillaries of lungs were found also there were uh, diffuse alveolar damage including hyaline membranes uh, in cardiac findings individual cell necrosis without lymphocytic myocarditis were uh, noticed in this reference given below these are the other references uh, for this article and we hope that corona ends here and we don't have to perform another lockdown or any other wave we are not going to have 
hopefully this is ended over here thank you thank you so much all of you for listening and